Prabowo Subianto, President-elect of Indonesia, thank you for talking to Al Jazeera. Senang bisa berbicara lagi dengan Bapak Prabowo. Let's begin with talking about the election. A, a landslide victory for you, almost 60% of the votes, victory in 30 out of 32 provinces, certainly a result that any candidate would have been happy with. What made the difference this time? Because you've run for president before twice. Why do you think your message appealed to voters this year? I think a combination of uh, factors, maybe uh, precisely because I ran twice before, I think my message, my narrative, my, my principles uh, reached the people. And this time, of course, I have to say that I felt uh, that I basically uh, became part of the incumbent team. So I think that also uh, was a great factor. That's something that many observers have talked about, and they've called it this Jokowi effect, the effect of your perceived closeness with the president and how that may have boosted your chances. What do you make of that? Well, if you know, uh, President Joko Widodo has, what, now 82, 83 percent favorable rating in the public opinion polls. And of course, uh, the people felt his commitment to bring uh, betterment to the people's uh, conditions, especially the poor. So, yes, I think I, uh, the, that Jokowi effect uh, really uh, helped me also. You, sir, have run against President Jokowi twice. You were political rivals. Was there a genuine change of mind on your part to, that allowed you to work more closely with him? You know, uh, Traditionally, in Indonesian politics, the winner wants to make sure that uh, his rival doesn't uh, ever re-emerge, right? But this time, he, I think he, he understood that I was committed to the betterment of the Indonesian people, especially the poor. And I think basically, which I found out later, he did, he does have the same values as I do. What are those values? I think the value as a, as a son of Indonesia, we want our people to live a, a dignified life. And uh, poverty is not dignified. An independent country, their people must live uh, with the basics, you know, uh, they cannot live in poverty. This idea of moving the capital was actually for many, many years, uh, since even our first president, President Sukarno. And uh, there was always this move that this capital should be more central position, and also that we have problems actually in Jakarta. Jakarta is, uh, I think, uh, already way beyond the, the capacity of the area to, to support a population of 20, 25 million people. Uh, we have to invest more to save Jakarta. How do you address the concerns about how this project may affect the indigenous communities? There are some uh, NGOs that estimate some 20,000 indigenous people may have to be relocated to make way for infrastructure for the capital. What can be done for them? The interest, the security and the future of all the indigenous people are highest priority in my, in my view. We have to protect them, we have to secure uh, their livelihood and we have to do a lot of uh, planning and research that we do not displace too many people. And if we do, we must uh, compensate and we have to uh, guarantee their yeah. well -being. Yeah, I think Free Meal Program is, uh, 
is very urgent and it's, uh, we have to take uh, urgent measures and uh, the children of Indonesia are our future. I think this is very strategic for the future of Indonesia. The cost has been raised as a potential barrier that in the first year this could cost perhaps seven billion dollars. I understand the government is already looking at how, how to fund this program, but to you that's not a concern? To me that's not a concern. I've studied the problems. I've studied where we can uh, save and where we can reallocate. I'm very I'm very convinced. The aim of this project is to improve the quality of education that Indonesian children receive. What do you see as the main... Not only quality, to, to, to help them in their health, in their fitness. You know, the stunting of Indonesia children is very, I would say, very saddening. So this yeah. program is the intersection of health, education, a variety of aims, but one aim... The survival of the future of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. You know, we have started pilot projects already three months. We have started, not many, but we started in East Indonesia, we started in Kalimantan. And uh, everybody reports after two, three months the children are more lively, attendance rate increase. You know, now they, they know when they come to school, there's, there's a lunch mm -hmm. or there's a meal. So we are very optimistic about it. That's for the people who, who didn't vote for you, what would your message be to them? I told them that uh, they will see. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of my word. I will prove to them, right? And if you, if you study the social media, many of them have realized. Mm -hmm. So, it, democracy elections, there will be uh, hard talk, there will be harsh criticism. That's part of democracy, fine. But in the end, uh, I, I feel the mandate, I will work for my people. Even those who do not vote for me, I will, I will defend them.